Okay, so now we're going to do a neural flossing technique for the sciatic nerve. Now before you do any nerve work, you obviously need to do a thorough assessment. So at this point, we're going to assume that we've done our slump test, our straight leg raise, our valsalva maneuver, all these other tests we might need to do to identify a, a discogenic or a, a nerve root based compression of this nerve pathway. It, once we've ruled that out and identified hopefully that we've got a compression somewhere down the chain, so through glutes in the piriformis, through hamstrings, somewhere down in the lower leg where we might have an entrapment or a tethering of that sciatic nerve or one of its uh, extensions or its pathways, we can then use a flossing technique to try to mobilize, create some mobility for that nerve through those tissues and hopefully reduce compression and relieve, and relieve some of the symptoms. So some of the symptoms would be uh, sciatic type pain, but not necessarily originating from the spine. So something that might be tingling, some paresthesia, so maybe some shooting, sort of sharpish type pain down through that leg, maybe even some numbness potentially, depending on how bad it is. So in this position with the patient in side lying, we're gonna take that leg that's affected and bring the hip into flexion with knee extension. Now, all the while closely monitoring for feedback from the person, if they start to feel neurological symptoms through the leg, we stop at that point. So what we need to do is move into that range and then we start to feel, identify that there is some tension through that feedback from the person and they're getting some of that nerve sensation. We can then just gently dorsiflex to the, the foot to, so that we can get a very clear reading of those neural symptoms. We don't at any point want to bring on a real severe neurological type pain or discomfort, just a mild one, just to assess the point of position where we're going to start. Okay? Once we've found that position, then I'm going to ask the patient if they need to, to move into a little bit of flexion or extension to find that comfortable position. And then they'll move their head slightly into flexion. As she does that, I'm going to unlock that ankle out of dorsiflexion and point the toe away. What that does is she's increased the neural tension superiorly up along the spinal cord to the head and I've decreased it down here. So it's dragging the nerve superiorly up through that chain. As she extends the neck, I then add back the dorsiflexion and the great toe extension. So I'm maintaining the tension, not increasing or decreasing it. She then flexes again through the neck and I decrease that dorsiflexion into plantar. And then as I move up and down, she moves her head into extension and flexion and we're just gently creating that flossing movement of the nerve okay so gliding up and down so I just really need to reiterate at no point should this be painful at no point should be even even have a strong discomfort it should be gentle tension very tolerable very manageable all the way through now if you get into this point here and you think okay they can feel it it's not super strong you can also add a little bit of hip adduction which creates a little more tension down through that chain so you can play with the position to find the point where they feel some tension. You might need to play with the position to get it, uh, to elicit it. And then in that position, that's where we do the flossing maneuver. And you're gonna spend probably 20 to 30 seconds on that, or until they start to feel that that discomfort is dissipating, you may then need to increase the tension a little more. But the goal is not to keep increasing, keep chasing it, it's to just find that point of tension where you feel the neurological symptoms, clear them, move on a little bit, clear them, and then, then essentially we're done with that. This technique can also be a homework technique for your clients. So you can guide them through the setup of this often it's done in a sitting position with the leg uh, up in the air with you, with you laying on the floor, with the leg up against the wall. Lots of ways to do this. We might address that in another video. Uh, but this is a great technique to untether that nerve pathway of the sciatic nerve down through the posterior leg for people who are experiencing some of those neurological symptoms.